let us discuss this question so in this question they have asked they have given one curve y is equal to log x upon x square and they have asked the area under this curve from x is equal to 1 to infinity is finite this is the question getting so what is the interval we have 1 to infinity that means the interval is infinite getting and we have some function so area under this function is finite or infinite this is a question have you heard this word area under the curve that is nothing but integration okay so that means what have they simply asked let us write here we have we will write a function first we have f of x what is our f of x that y that means log x upon x square this is a given function okay then i so area under the curve that means integration f of x dx okay from where to where from 1 to infinity so they are asking it has a finite value or infinite value that means simply we have to check the value of this integration is finite or infinite that means the, is this integral improper integral is convergent or divergent this thing we have to decide okay so as the upper limit is infinity so that's why we can call it as improper integral let us put the value of f of x what is value of f of x integration 1 to infinity f of x is yes log x upon x square dx okay so let us check whether it has a finite value or infinite value you know well how to solve this integration okay what we do first we take some constant here we apply the limit we solve the integration and finally we apply the limit let us do the same we have a space here let us use it so limit c tends to infinity integration 1 to c log x upon x square dx okay so let us focus on this integration only and finally at the end we will apply the limit so let us consider consider integration 1 to c log x upon x square dx so maybe you are thinking how to solve this integration it is very simple what will i do i will express it in this way integration 1 to c log x into 1 upon x square dx okay so you are familiar with this formula integration uv this is u integration v minus integration derivative of u integration v dx so in previous videos we have already discussed this formula as well as maybe you are thinking what we have to take take what is our u and what is our v so we follow this rule l i a t e we follow this rule l means logarithmic function which is always a first function so log x we should take first that means this is our u and this is our v let us apply the formula okay so the formula says u first u as it is log x into integration of v what is integration of 1 upon x square you can solve in your rough notebook getting and its value will be finally i will write minus 1 by x with lim in limits 1 to c minus okay minus sign is there integration 1 to c derivative of u what is over u log x its derivative is 1 by x so it is 1 by x into integration of v as i told you earlier what is integration of 1 upon x square it is minus 1 upon x dx after that we have to solve this problem but there is no more space to write so i suggest you to make a screenshot of it then we will go further okay so what will happen now i will put upper limit lower limit so this is equal to i am putting c so this minus 1 by c log c okay if I put 1, log 1 is 0, you know, getting so 0 into anything, 0. So minus 0, minus, see this minus sign, that minus 1 is constant, will come outside and minus minus plus. So that's why I'm writing plus integration 1 to C, 1 by X into 1 by X, we will have 1 by X square DX. So let us solve it further. So this is equal to minus log C divided by C okay integration of 1 by x square is uh, minus 1 by x with limit 1 to c let us put upper limit lower limit we will have the answer so this is equal to minus log c upon c plus minus 1 by c minus minus plus 1 by 1 so final answer is minus log c 
divided by c minus 1 by c plus 1 okay let me remove this one you have already made a screenshot of it okay so let us go further so what we had done now we simply calculate the value of that integration after that we have to apply the limit right so let us continue so i is equal to what i is equal to limit c tends to infinity right and after that there was a improper integral we have solved that improper integral and this value we have got finally so let us put this value at a place of integration so minus log c divided by c minus 1 by c plus 1 let us apply the limit addition subtractions are there so you can apply separate separate limits so this is equal to limit c tends to infinity minus log c upon c minus i am applying limit to the second term i have written the first term as it is it is little bit complicated so we will take some more time to solve but the second term is very easy if i apply the limit you will have one upon infinity what is value of one upon infinity zero so that's why it is zero if you apply the limit to the last term last term is one which is constant so if you apply the limit you will have the same value plus one okay so these two terms we have already applied the limit let us focus on first term the problem is that if you apply the limit you will have log infinity log infinity is infinity and if you apply the limit to denominator you will have infinity that means what you are getting you are getting infinity upon infinity form you remember what we have to do how to solve this limit when we have infinity upon infinity form or zero upon zero form we have to use l hospitals rule in such cases okay so i will write by l hospitals rule okay l hospitals rule what will you get i is equal to limit c tends to infinity do you know what we do in such cases when you apply l hospitals rule we take a derivative of numerator we write at numerator and we take derivative of denominator and we write at denominator what is derivative of numerator derivative of log c is 1 by c and derivative of c is 1 getting so what i have done i have written i have taken derivative of numerator at numerator and derivative of denominator at denominator don't apply u upon v formula it is wrong so by l hospitals rule we have this got this one so limit c tends to infinity minus 1 by c so if i apply the limit you will have 1 upon infinity 1 upon infinity is 0 okay sorry i forgot to write 1 plus 1 and plus 1 so you will have 0 plus 1 so which is 1 so that means answer is finite that is very important thing that means value of this improper integral is finite getting so that's why the given improper integral is convergent or uh, what can we write area under the curve okay this is the area under the curve and we have got a finite value so therefore it has a finite value so therefore required area required area is finite so this is our final answer okay so problem is over you can make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye